Welcome to your writing tutorial. This tutorial will help you write a paragraph response to a prompt from any discipline, math, science, social studies, English, and more. As you watch, feel free to pause to take notes, rewind to understand important details, and look at your assignment and writing as you attend to the example in the video. Ready? Let's go. Today we will explore determining voice in prompt-based writing. Let's review voice for a moment. You may recall that you can write in a variety of voices in any prompt-based response. Those voices could be first person, second person, or third person. Hopefully you recall the differences among these three different voices, but let's refresh our memory. First person voice means that the writer him or herself is the subject of the paragraph. Second person means the reader is the subject of the paragraph, and third person means only the ideas are the focus. So when asking yourself which voice to use, you must ask yourself a simple question. What is the paragraph about? Is the paragraph about me? Then I write in the first person voice. Is the paragraph about my reader and what they should do? Then I write in the second person voice. Or am I not writing about the reader or myself, just talking about the ideas? Then I use the third person voice. Asking yourself that simple question, what is this paragraph about? after reading the prompt, can help you determine which voice to use. And do not forget that the three voices focus on three sets of pronouns. The second person voice pronouns are probably easiest because you're only focusing on you and your. First person can move among a number of pronouns, singular and plural, singular like I, plural like our. The third person voice you may be focusing on something that is gendered, like he or she, or something that is neutral, like it. But you are not focusing on the reader or the writer. Let's take a look at a sample science prompt. Where have you gotten your ideas, opinions, or information about climate and climate change from? This prompt, written by a science teacher, provides clear clues as to the voice you should use. Read the prompt carefully, because the teacher will tell you which voice you should use in writing your paragraph. Here we note the you. This you pronoun indicates that the science teacher is talking about you, the writer. Do not be distracted by the fact that this is a second person pronoun. The science teacher has asked you to focus on your own experience and therefore you use first person. Why is that? Because you, the writer, are the topic of the paragraph. Use the first person voice. How about this one? Another science prompt. If you were writing the instructions for preparing a dehydrated salt-based seasoning packet for a packaged soup that's prepared in boiling water, at which point would you instruct the re would you instruct the user to add the seasoning? What else might you instruct him or her to do? I apologize for some of the errors in the prompt. I copied and pasted it directly from a student writing. This science prompt focuses your voice attention in one of two possible areas. So you might think about it as we thought about the last one. The words you indicate that you are the topic. So you could write in the first person voice. The science teacher has opened that for you. You could say, I would do this and I would do that. But you might also notice that the word instructions and the user indicate that the reader is the topic of the paragraph. In which case, you could continue with the I and refer to the user, sticking with the first person voice, or you could use the second person voice, instructing the user on when to insert the seasoning packet. Your science teacher has opened you for two different voices. Your only concern here is not which of those two to pick, but maintaining consistency. Be sure that whichever voice you pick, you use it consistently throughout your answer. Here's another science prompt. Compare and contrast ionic, polar covalent, and nonpolar covalent chemical bonds. This prompt does not use any pronouns that indicate that I should talk about myself, nor does it indicate that I'm talking to the reader as a subject. Therefore, the ideas are key and I use third person voice. Similarly, contrast relative age with absolute age in examining rocks does not provide any indication that I am talking about myself or the reader. So I stick with third person voice there as well. Do not forget the different 
pronouns used in different voices. Make sure once you have selected a voice to use that you stick with that voice throughout the paragraph. Voice consistency is crucial and you should never shift voice unless you have a specific and understandable reason. Let's review. First, you should read the prompt for clues to voice. Your teacher will always indicate what voice you should use in answering a prompt. Second, review the pronouns, the first, second, and third person voice pronouns. Make sure you can identify a pronoun and identify the voice that it indicates. Finally, read the composition carefully to proof for consistency. Make sure that you are using the same voice throughout the entire paragraph. If you can follow these three steps, you can maintain voice consistency throughout any prompt-based writing, improving clarity and making sure that your teacher is happy.